Hey Games Radar, we're here with Tom Hewlett, Senior Associate Producer on Silent Hill HD Collection. Hi Tom. Hello. So this is the HD Collection, like many other HD Collections you've played. Um, it's two classic games, Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. They're presented in HD resolution with new 5.1 sound, new voice acting, and an overall modern presentation. So how does Silent Hill 3 start for those who aren't familiar? So it starts in this strange nightmarish dream world where uh, Heather finds herself for the first time. Um, it kind of drops them right into the weirdness of Silent Hill uh, from the get-go. Um, this is a weird theme park uh, and fans who played Silent Hill 1 would recognize it as Lakeside Amusement Park, uh, which is one of the big locations in the first game. Um, Silent Hill 3 ties back into Silent Hill 1. Um, you don't need to play Silent Hill 1 to play it, it's kind of summed up in the middle, so you'll get the, the key points. But uh, for fans who had played Silent Hill 1, um, there's a lot of connections that they could enjoy. So whereas Silent Hill 2 kind of starts off this really slow um, walk through a foresty road, uh, 3 kind of starts right here in the middle of things. Um, you've got a knife, everything's creepy, I'm about to get attacked by a creature. <laughs> But often in Silent Hill, it's better to run than actually fight. And uh, that holds true in Silent Hill 3. So for people coming right off of 2, um, how, how would you compare 3 to 2? So 3 is probably a little more action-y. Um, the original team heard complaints about the combat in 2, and so they wanted to sort of fix some of those problems. Um, it does tie into the first game. Silent Hill 2 was its own standalone story. Um, obviously the world is the same. But, um, and the, the graphics in 3 were originally much better also. So, you know, they're even better now. Um, the details in a, in a store like this. You can really pick up what you're looking at each individual package. The details on the stuffed animals. Um, which has actually been pretty interesting. Working on this collection... Um, you know, I didn't work for Konami when the originals came out, so I was playing them as a fan. And move around this creature. Go. Um, I was playing them as a fan, and you know, you see certain things and it's scary, and you get used to the environments. And then coming in here, working on the collection, I I got to see a lot of those from a different point of view. And there's a lot of details in the art that weren't apparent on PS2 in the old resolution. Whether it's uh, a puzzle clue that's actually written there that you don't have to zoom in on, or uh, in some cases, scratches on the wall or, or weird messages. It's just cool to be able to see for the first time all these fine details that were there. You know, they wanted us to see them, but the game just couldn't actually show them to us. So did you focus on a lot of individual details like that, or how was the work uh, doing the, all the graphical upgrades? On? Well, we started out uh, upraising the individual textures. And we found, in a lot of areas, they doubled up texture use. So, you know, a wooden door might be a creature, where now that you're HD, that would look wrong. So, we did have texture artists going in. Um, in those cases, updating the textures, making sure it looked like it was supposed to look, rather than it just did if you simply up it. You know, we didn't want to do a quick... Excuse me. We didn't want to do a quick port job, where you just, you know, put it in an uh, up-res machine, and it comes out the other side. Um, also, since it's survival horror, there's a lot of puzzle areas where you, you get a close-up view of some static art, but that was designed for a non-widescreen presentation originally. So we had artists go in and draw the, the edges, and, you know, they didn't change anything really, they just enhanced what was already there. So, if you're playing this for the first time, it won't feel like you're playing an old game designed 10 years ago. It should feel like, you know, a modern-ish game uh, with modern presentation. So when does HD Collection come out and for what platform? 
a Silent Hill HD collection will be available on both PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and it's coming this January. Well, thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. And look for more coverage on GamesRadar.com.